Hello, hello, hello. Um, so, so today uh, we are going to discuss about, let me say, hope you are able to see the screen. We'll discuss about a fiat currency, okay, or fiat money. So now this is the basics of money. If you do not know already, um, so you should know, or especially the kids as well. If you have young ones as well, they should know about the evolution of money. So, um, so the it, it started like this. So it started with the a barter economy, or uh, you know, there was a, not a money. The concept of money was not in evolved that time. So that means uh, you know. The need of money came when you have something and you want something else and which is with uh, somebody else and that is where you know the concept of money came in but before that uh, you know it was kind of a barter that means uh, you know i give you this and you have that and i take that uh, take that so that is what kind of uh, you know it wasn't until that time there was no need of money but subsequently if you see uh, you know if somebody has you know, so I have something which I am going to, um, I can give it to you in exchange of something, but you do not have what I want. For example, I have milk, I give you uh, the milk, but I want um, I wanted rice, but uh, you know, you are my kind of a next door neighbor and you don't have rice, but let's say, uh, you know, you, you have uh, wheat, okay, but I don't want wheat. So, what is the what happens that time is a barter economy started to fail because you know I have to go and look for someone who would uh, want what I have that means milk and uh, you know and who will have what I want uh, you know that is uh, the rice okay so that is that becomes very difficult it may not be possible so then came the concept of money where you know um, you know i want something an intermediary okay which can solve uh, the problem of what i want i can get it in exchange of what i have okay so that in this example in uh, in exchange of a milk i could uh, you know um, get something and that that something can uh, I can exchange that something for rice, which I want. So then came the, um, the commodity money. Okay, so here came the concept of money, okay, commodity money. So what is commodity money? So that means uh, the money, uh, what we see now as, uh, you know, we think that it is uh, the notes or the, uh, the coins, are, you know, they are, they are money but the evolution of it, it started with commodity, okay? Commodity means, uh, you, know, you know, most of the time it was, uh, you know, uh, different kinds of uh, material, a commodity like uh, gold, uh, copper, you know, it's a different metal kind of, uh, you know, um, coins uh, became, became the commodity, okay? So not only metal as a commodity, there has been so many records in, in when it started, uh, you know, different parts of uh, the world, uh, you know, China has a major contribution in evolution of money and Japan also, they started, uh, you know, uh, with commodity money of, uh, you know, like arrow tip, okay, different metallic arrow tips uh, that was uh, considered as a, uh, a commodity, which is considered as money. So what what is commodity money? Commodity money is a certain uh, thing okay let's say i decide that okay cocoa beans or alcohol okay uh, will be considered or we as a community in our village we think uh, we consider that okay alcohol can be considered as a commodity money what that means is in my example of uh, me wanting uh, you know rice and what i can give is uh, milk so the commodity money became, uh, you know, when uh, let's say alcohol became the commodity money. So what I am doing is I am going to get, I am going to uh, you know, exchange my milk, okay? Because I'm a milk producer, I exchange the milk for alcohol. Well, again, alcohol I don't need. What I need is uh, rice. So what do I do then? So with that alcohol, that became the money now. So the alcohol, I go and I buy 
um, you know, the the rice from someone who who has uh, you know who has the rice uh, you know with him. Okay, so now that became so now alcohol became the commodity money. So similarly, cocoa beans or whatever we agree. Okay as kind of a you know intermediary okay that became the money so i am not necessarily going to use or consume that uh, commodity i may not be for in this example if the commodity money is alcohol and i do not want uh, alcohol because i don't like to uh, consume alcohol but that's okay why because this is just a money so that means this is just uh, a you know an intermediary for me to ex get rice what i earn so between in between milk and rice this came the money came okay so that means this is kind of uh, something which i can exchange for whatever i need or whatever i have okay so different kinds of uh, commodity money has been used uh, for long duration of time it was initially it was grain food grain because food grain was you know kind of a uh, everyone wanted the, uh, the food grain for their own homes and uh, you know then a lot of people started to produce only the food grain. I know it's just imagine you can produce money at, uh, in your backyard. Okay, so that again, it uh, moved on to uh, you know uh, become uh, or uh, the the different kinds of metals. Okay, um, uh, was adopted. Uh, you know in uh, you know the, so iron is copper is so there are different kinds of metal was used uh, as as money. So what is that money then? So this is just a medium of exchange. Okay. Um, between what I want and what I have, so that became the money. Okay, so now you understand that the evolution of barter economy and then commodity money. So the money started to play in. Now moving on, so commodity money gradually it progressed into metal or coins. Okay, so um, you know in exchange for something what you have is to get the coins. Okay, and then the coin was uh, you know was given to get something else. So different kinds of commodity were being used. So then came the evolution of, uh, you know, representative money. Okay, what is representative money? Representative money is, uh, you know, uh, you know, kind of an advanced version of commodity money where, uh, you know, com in commodity money, if, uh, you know, I have some gold, uh, you know, gold powder or gold coin, you know, so that became the money. But in a representative money, what happens is, uh, you know, here in this process of evolution, there were um, kind of, you know, countries were formed or uh, villages or, uh, you know, nations were formed and the representative money was practiced in, uh, you know, as kind of as late as 1970s, you know, there was representative money. Okay, what is the representative money? So representative money is, uh, you know, the gold standard. If you, if you remember still, or if you know, you must have heard about gold standard. What is gold standard? That means here comes countries, okay. Um, you know, who started to um, practice representative money with uh, the, you know, gold coins, okay, gold standards, gold was uh, considered as a standard currency, yes, for, for example, in the United States, uh, you know, uh, the gold, uh, you know, the federal government, um, you know, uh, the US kind of, uh, you know, the, um, the government's currency, okay, when they produce, uh, you know, the, the currency of the central bank uh, in uh, in the US, uh, what they're producing is, uh, you know, paper currency. Now, he, here you understand that, okay, so they were producing paper currency, that means paper notes, I think papers or coins, but those coins were representing, uh, you know, the gold, okay, so that means for in order for a country or uh, a government to produce or a central bank so there here came the concept of banks okay uh, they have to uh, they can only produce you know the similar value of uh, notes or uh, currencies or coins uh, and you know backing whatever uh, is backed up that should be backed up by the gold reserve okay so that means the gold reserve so the gold has to be there for for example, uh, if uh, you know the government has a gold reserve of a million uh, dollar worth of gold, then you know it can go and produce. That means print, or they can produce. You know, they can mint. You know, uh, one million dollar of different kinds of currencies. Uh, that may be thousand dollar or hundred dollar. Okay, you know, different kinds of uh, uh, you know notes or uh, coins. Okay, so that was representative. That means. 
the money uh, which is now converted into paper now it's converted into some metals okay it may not be gold metal or it will not be gold metal okay it could be copper but that copper is a representation of the gold in the reserve that in a way was good in the sense that you know no one or government cannot produce as much of money as it uh, as it wants okay so that is a representation of a representative money okay and then later on you know what we see right now is that a dollar uh, bill or you know pound notes or rupees whatever the currency or uh, you know the notes what we see the coins what we see the in circulation in different countries uh, you know that is called fiat money okay so now we let's understand the difference between representative money and fiat money because these are kind of a recent days not very recent but yeah you know until 70s you know we had this representative money and then uh, you know the fiat money come in so let's understand this in 1971 us president uh, richard nixon so in during his time uh, you know the gold standard okay that means a representative money um, uh, practice was discontinued okay with a, with a bill in 1971 okay so that means you know very recent as you can see okay 1971 is you know a lot of you know people you know in that time you know they would remember that as well probably um, that when it was discontinued so so during that richard nixon time then you know government said that okay instead of so there is a backup needed okay for money okay what is a backup earlier 1971 in the united states and then different countries adopted the you know the practice so it was kind of a physical um you know commodity or in the us case it was it was kind of uh, you know gold now post uh, you know 1971 government said okay the, the backing is not by gold but backing is by government okay so here comes the fiat fiat money or the fiat the the word came into practice okay that's called fiat money fiat is what fiat is you know it's a latin word uh you know which um, the meaning of fiat is let it be done okay so that means it's kind of a, a you know ordinance or a, a decree by government's order okay so let it be done so it was kind of a roman period uh, you know that is also uh, the fiat terminology or that word was used and then you know in italy as well i think it's still uh, you know in italy there is a company if you do not know fiat is a you know automobile uh, manufacturing company you know quite quite popular as well so this exactly uh, you know if you see that the root of that word fiat uh, or fiat money i know is uh, you know from the latin era okay so fiat money is uh, what is that is a government issued okay so that means government okay that means people's representative so that means people uh, you know uh, you know form the government okay and then so the government says that okay we do not have to have gold okay so there is no necessity of gold because we the government you know of the country we will back it up okay so that means here comes the discontinuance of fiat currency uh, sorry uh, discontinuance uh, you know of uh, gold standard okay in the united states and then different countries also discontinued because not uh, there are few countries which uh, were not on gold standard as well they were in different different other standards as well different other commodity uh, uh, standard they were backing up their currency um, in through different different uh, other commodities now that slowly but surely all the countries moved on um with this uh, nixon nixon's uh, you know the bill so they moved on to adopt a uh, fiat currency okay so as if you understand you know in both in the case of fiat currency and representative uh, currency or representative money so it doesn't have an intrinsic value so that means that that paper what you call uh, is a money or you know the piece of paper or piece of uh, copper you know thing what you call it money that is not actually that is that doesn't have any intrinsic value so the intrinsic value of it is not there but then how the value is come if i say it's a 100 dollar note then where the value is coming because government is backing it up government government is saying that that is worth 100 dollars so that means you can buy things worth 100 dollars with this paper okay 
this uh, you know kind of paper which whatever that picture is so this piece of paper will get you hundred dollar worth of uh, you know uh, commodities or you know the services whatever you want okay so that that is kind of a money as you can you can understand that okay now is a uh, is representative money still in practice uh, absolutely i know so in different forms is practices uh, it is still there representative money even though it's, we say that it's discounted in 1971 but when you issue a check okay the checks check is a representative money what does that mean that's a piece of paper but however that is not backed by government okay so but that piece of paper what you are writing and you are putting your signature okay again checks are, are slowly getting you know kind of um, redundant it is no more practiced in you know that widely but it's still there so so that means you know what is that representative uh, you know when you are issuing a check that means there is a backing so what is representative there has to be a representation there there has to be a, it has to be backed up by some commodity so in the case of check okay what you are issuing is that represents so let's say you are issuing a hundred dollar check so that means that has to be backed up so that means that you should have a hundred dollar in your uh, bank account uh, to honor that uh, you know check exactly same with the debit card okay you need to have you know if you are doing a transaction on your debit card so debit card again it's a physical form of uh, you know you can say it's a money okay uh, it's a plastic plastic piece of uh, piece of plastic but that piece of plastic allows you okay uh, it has a back uh, backup okay and the backup is your bank account whatever is your bank account whatever is the uh, account balance you know uh, that can do transactions worth that value okay so that is that is a backing okay so that is representative money is still in a way it is still there it's in practice okay but fiat money is everywhere you see the fiat money but fiat money as well is getting redundant now with what is that digital money okay what is digital money again digital money has been evolved you know during some, the last uh, you know last decade if you see what is digital money so that means there is no physical physical uh, you know money so that means there is no physical that means a paper is a physical form of money as we represent that okay that's a piece of paper or a piece of uh, metal, which we call it coin, okay, or a piece of plastic, we call it a credit card or a debit card, okay. That that these are physical form, okay. Now you must have seen, you know, people with their phone, okay. They just tap it on, uh, you know, on on the, on the card reader, okay, uh, and uh, you know, with this technology, it, it scans through and takes the money out of your phone. Well where is there in your phone there is that money in your phone okay so that is called digital money where uh, you know you are not uh, you know paying that in terms of uh, you know your uh, you know that piece of plastic or paper um, but the transaction is happening just by scanning you know uh, scanning your your phone or you know in nsf i think or in nf nf nsf or nfs so N uh, nfs or nsf i'm not sure but that's a technology whereby you know you can your phones uh, you know uh, you know the, your this connects to an app which is a banking app and you know uh, so like google pay uh, you know must have apple pay you must have seen you know if you have that on your phone that app itself so it takes the money out of your um, account okay so that is the digital money okay now another form okay of digital money okay of transactions what's happening now is through cryptocurrency okay cryptocurrency you know um, bitcoin started the revolution then ethereum and then there are so many other i think around how much around thousand other uh, currencies are there or tokens are there i would uh, so we'll have a different video on what is the difference between currency and token as well so for you to understand you know the world of bitcoin or what of cryptocurrency what is the difference but this is how it has evolved, you know, from, from digital, uh, so for it, from uh, the ancient days of uh, uh, your, uh, you know, barter economy to right now the cryptocurrency where, you know, it is not even backed up by any, uh, you know, a central bank, okay, cryptos are 
kind of a decentralized, okay, a decentralized finance. Uh, you know, uh, the money is everywhere, uh, in scattered all around. Uh, you know, different different nodes or different computers. So that's where the A's is, uh, you know, where you don't need a bank as well. Okay, so this is the evolution, guys. So hope you understand the concept and how it has evolved, so that it is clear in your mind that where we are heading towards. Now we are heading towards an A's or an era where the transactions, uh, you know, could could be happening. You know, again through your phone as well. You can type it on the phone and all, but you do not have to, or you may not have uh, uh, a bank. You know, right in the in between, in the middle, authorizing your transactions because, as you as we discussed, in in fiat currency, the only or the big problem with the fiat currency is or fiat money is uh, you know it is um, because government is in control, so government can mint or can can produce or print money, okay, and put it in circulation as much as they want. Okay, or as less as they want, they can increase the interest rate, uh, you know, decrease the interest rate, uh, you know. So that is, you know, kind of an in government's right. Okay, and that in a way is a good and bad as well. Okay, good in the sense that you know, central uh, central um, banks they control the circulation of money, but the it is uh, you know bad in the sense that uh, because, for example, during this pandemic right now, I think in the month of april you know it's infl inflation uh, is going to hit around 7.5% okay right now in the united states it's 7% in the uk i think around 5% in inflation that means your bank balance by default is going down by 5% okay can you imagine that's that's uh, you know that's uh, dangerous but why that happened was because you know um, of the huge circulation of money in, in the economy, okay? And who so circulated that money, huge uh, pumped in money into the economy is it's the central bank, okay? With, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, different kinds of loans and uh, grants and during this pandemic, you know, it is so much of money has, has uh, pumped, been pumped into the economy. And when you have a high supply of something, then what happens is, you know, the demand, uh, demand uh, you know, uh, dips down and uh, you know that is when you know that is the value of uh, you know that currency or you know it, that leads to inflation that means the same pen if you have been you know it was access of, of uh, you know you have access to that pen for or uh, let's say 50 cents now it may cost you 80 cents or 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 a dollar okay so that is how it uh, it works in uh, you know the inflation because of the central government or central banks uh, you know uh, say in fiat money okay but going forward in the crypto world decentralized world that's no central bank and uh, people uh, can mint the the money in uh, from there you know can you imagine you minting your your cryptos from from your own laptop you know you could do that as well okay so that is what it is interesting um, so uh, hope it made some sense to you. If you have any comment, please feel free to share. Uh, you know, and uh, um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, you know, our YouTube channel, go and subscribe our YouTube channel because you may miss out a lot of educational uh, videos we we'll, uh, we are uh, posting so that everyone understand the power of money and understand how it's all started and how where we are heading towards. Okay, so we'll have another video on DeFi, decentralized finance. We discussed about it briefly, but we'll discuss about DeFi and uh, you know the world of um, tokens and uh, coins in the in the in the crypto world. So we'll discuss about that. So with that, over and out.